Good morning, everybody. This is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to share with you a few photographs of the very first journal I sold in my Etsy shop almost exactly a year ago. I've also recently completed a journal that was done in a very similar style, except the newest one was done with more natural colors. I think I've said on the last two videos that I published that I had a journal that I would share soon, and that was probably a week ago. Finally, I am sitting down to show you this journal that I made, and of course, as I've already shown you, it is sort of a full circle celebration of selling journals on Etsy and now on my own website. I wanted to thank every person who has left me a comment, every person who has encouraged me. I love to watch videos and see the styles. I love art magazines, art books, any kind of inspiration, libraries, museums, art galleries. Art is just a wonderful, beautiful thing. And I think without art, and that includes journals, sewing, mixed media, collage, music, everything, it would be a terrible existence if we didn't have those things. Anyway, I wanna show you this. Again, this is a journal on rings, and it is a very, um, a style I've used a lot lately, kind of distressed, grungy. I love the color scheme of naturals and sort of just a very organic feel. So I used the heavy file folders again for the covers, and there is some graph paper that's been glued down on the cover. You almost can't see it anymore because of the distressing. And I used a butterfly graphic that I printed onto the graph paper. These little uh, paper circles, the old vintage bobbins that I had a few months back where I took all of the paper covers off because the thread was really dry rotting and I sold the paper covers in my Etsy shop. And as soon as I have some more of those, I will list some more for sale. Anyway, I wanted this journal to feel very old, very much like a field notebook. And this is a notebook of butterflies. There's some old typewriter paper here that I tore a little bit out of. I think this came from a typewriter test because there was another really fun sheet attached to this one and I actually packaged that up this weekend to go out into a packet that I sold. But I love that it says you would just drift along easily without and then given a task that calls for your utmost effort. And I love that butterflies use all of this energy to go from cocoon to you know, becoming a beautiful butterfly, and they don't live very long once they, once they hatch out into this beautiful creature. So a lot of effort, and I think about how they drift along on the wind. I guess they're really not drifting. They're looking for a place to go ahead and create the next generation. But let's focus on this. I don't want to ramble too much. This entire journal is made with the inserts from an old uh, record album, the little 45s, the cases that they used to be stored in, and I put some extras in for the person who receives this to continue journaling their nature notes. Three butterflies in the front, a lot of distressing, a lot of just organic vintage elements. I recently found some more of these negative sleeves where the film negative or transparencies were stored. These were especially fun to me because they had, it's almost like they were produced as a set where you could not, not travel and still see a location. Some of these had Roma and some had Hong Kong. Really neat, I may list some of those, but underneath you can see part of a butterfly wing and that came from some beautiful fabric that I have. Here is one of my favorite stamps and just a little tag that came from a card that's been distressed. I love how it picked up the ink on this side. So the design is raised and where there is a difference in elevation in this paper on the back, 
rubbing the ink stamp across just really made the design stand out. This time on the tag, I used a very, very tiny string to tie, and I love the effect of that. I think that's really pretty. It looks really wispy, um, kind of like the little lines you see in a butterfly wing. This is the only thing in here that's not one of these um, file dividers. And that is an envelope that went with a card. It's kind of small. I've stamped it. Inside are some things that pertain to the notebook. There are some butterfly stickers in here. I may add a few more things, maybe some postage stamps or something. I love metal paper clips, especially if they have a little bit of rust. I like that old look. You can see again, the ink really picked up this word papyrus on the envelope. Most of us have heard of this company and papyrus is the name for a material that comes from a plant and then that is used to make uh, paper that was used in ancient times. More images of butterflies. I stamped the word free here. There is a charm made from some really large upholstery beads and some fabric, another little butterfly. This one has a little bit of glitter on the wings. I love the contrast of glitter and distress. It's just really a beautiful contrast. And one way, I didn't want to use all of these little bobbin covers that I had. I still have a few. I used quite a few for this project, but I determined to use some other things to reinforce the holes in the pages. I had these beautiful little pieces of paper that came from textile samples like paint cards or paint chips. This one was called Sequoia Grove, which I really love because I think about the sequoia tree. So I just cut a part of that out and sewed it down and then punched through both pieces to reinforce that paper. Here's another page that has uh, just more stamping layers. I love to use gesso and ink stamps together. This was a beautiful large butterfly that I cut out of a calendar page and the black and white, it caused me to look up uh, the word papillon. And I believe the papillon is a black butterfly. I wrote the word papillon and it's really faded out, which I like very much. More ink stamps, more beautiful butterfly images. On this page, you can see there's a little bit of my favorite gold paint. And you will notice in the pages that I showed earlier, I, I've always loved gold paint. I, even back then I had some gold pages. So I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. I love the butterflies on this page, the Paris stamp, and on this page there's a tiny little Paris charm. I don't know what it is about Paris and butterflies that seem to go together in my mind. I guess it's the freedom that the city of Paris seems to advertise and butterflies being such beautiful, free creatures, magical creatures. I love the way this page turned out. I'm not afraid to splatter ink and water on things and I put some on this page and then I did let it bleed over on her face a little bit. I didn't want to get it around her eyes. Interesting that she has just a couple of spots on her nose. They almost look like freckles. You can see the stamps. This is a particularly favorite flower stamp that I have and there's a Paris tag there. Another beautiful distressed page with a bright butterfly. These are some stickers that I had and I went ahead and added glue to them so that they will definitely stay down and I distressed the edges. I love the bright colors in that one against the old map. So this is one of the inserts that would have had the names of records, the artist, the name of the 45, but I just stamped the words field notes here. On this side, you can see some of it was filled in, which is really interesting. Fools Rush In, Temptation, An Old Sweetheart of Mine. Well, just look at all these and look at the artists. Chubby Checkers, Spanky and Our Gang, Fats Domino, Sonny James. Here's another large butterfly that was cut out of a calendar that I had, and you can see those paper bobbin covers again. I love these stickers. They were very, very thick. One of these is the same type of sticker that I used here in the center. And they're all glued down so that they will hopefully really stay in place always. A Little bit of lace on this page. 
uh, just a beautiful page of a lot of different butterflies and I love this image here. This might have come from the graphics fairy. I'm not sure, but that's one that I had um, on my computer and printed that out. Another charm from an upholstery bead. And then we have a vellum envelope here. I scanned a Victorian postcard that I have in my collection. I actually shared these images in my Facebook group. And I want to say I have tried printing those images myself. They print okay, but I do think Facebook reduces the size of the file. I don't want that to happen. I also tried some other ways to share the image, but I am going to figure out a way to share the images with you so that they're full size. You know, some images I sell in my shop. It depends on how much work I do. I also like to share free images, and this I did a collage sheet that looks something like this, and the original postcard and a postcard where I took some of the wording off. So that is here, another page with the heavy sticker. There's a stamped image on some cotton, really, really loosely woven. It's almost like a bandage material, I love that. And then the heavy, again, loosely woven material in the background that almost looks like burlap. And then on the back, we have another beautiful large butterfly image that was cut out of a calendar. Beyond this, there are quite a few empty pages for you to work with. So in a sense, this is a flowish type journal because I wanted to provide materials. And this will come with an ephemera set, maybe 50 pieces from my vintage ephemera collection. And again, newer images. I only sell things that I would want to work with and I'm very particular about that. Anyway, this one's going into the shop right now. I love this one, I love this journal, and thank you so much for watching. And there's the back, I love this one. Again, that's a, an image that was printed onto some graph paper, and I glued that down onto the cover, and it's just really distressed, and there's my stamp. And that was put on two large rings, like one of the first journals I ever sold. I did have this on some smaller rings, and it's just, there, there was too much on here. I had to switch over to some bigger rings. So thank you for watching, and I will be back soon. I have some other journals made that I just, I really need to get in there and share them. I'll do that as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.